Welcome into another coaches show. We are the home of the UTEP Miners, which means we are joined once again by UTEP head coach Dana Dimble. Coach, fresh off a of bye week, I'm sure it must have been nice considering all the injuries you guys have. How's the team feeling right now? Yeah, it's been good. We needed the bye week. You know, we gave the guys, they got some good work in, but we gave them time off, focus on academics and focus on getting themselves, you know, fresh and ready to play these last two games. You talk about these next two games left in the season and with no bowl game on the line sure. anymore. What do you guys have to play for? Yeah, there's a lot to play for. These seniors have been so good and they fought. We got so many seniors that have done some really good things and we got some spectacular players that have done some great things this year so they can set some pretty cool uh, goals and standards and accomplishments this year individually and well as a team to continue to fight because that's what I'm so proud of is how these guys have fought through the, all, all the adversity and how they've handled the adversity. There's been a lot of injuries in the team. One of those injuries is, of course, quarterback Gavin Hardison. We learned this week that he will not be playing the rest of the season, had surgery last week. Just what impact has he had on this team in his five years with the program? Yeah, Gavin has just been so tremendous, and he's accomplished some great things, taking us to a bowl game. He's been just a great human being and could have set so many school records that would have stood for a long time but didn't get that to happen for him this year. But I'm hoping it'll work out for him in his NFL adventures. Gavin, just one of many injuries. We've also got Tyreen Smith, your leading wide receiver, a lot of guys on the O-line, as well as a plethora of others throughout the entire program. How much has that kind of impacted this season? Well, it's had a huge impact on the season. It really has. And I don't talk about it much because, you know, that's not my personality. But when the rubber meets the road, facts have to be told, you know, because it's in respect to these guys that have fought so hard and overcome all the adversity they've had to overcome. So I'm very proud of the way they've battled throughout the season, come from behind victories and the road wins that we've got in conference play and being in, involved tight in every ball game that we've been in, playing, you know, some really good moments. So that's what I'm most proud of. Some of these things are out of your control you know our, our injuries are into the middle 25s for guys that are significant players for us 25 26 players and so that's been hard on our football team but they've stuck together and done some really cool things together as a team so I'm very very proud of this football team in that way now there's frustration you know that we've talked about because obviously we had large goals and we had plenty of talent to do that but some of that talent was taken away from us so people out there who are kind of questioning and, and disappointed in the way this season played out, what do you sure. want to say to them? I'm disappointed too. No one's more disappointed than I am in how the season's turned out. But I felt like some of these things are out of our control and that happens as a coach. You know, but again, the product of the talent that we've put in this program, Rachel, I'm so proud of that. We have so many tremendous players. Uh, most of our players that are performing this year and doing some great things, they're all coming back next year. So there's a lot of things to look forward to. Obviously, Cade's got a lot of experience this year. We got the other two quarterbacks that were hurt that are coming back next year and a lot of good uh, you know most of our offensive production and most of our defensive production is coming back next year looking ahead to this week middle tennessee on the road what do you see in that team and how do you go about playing them sure you know middle tennessee is a, a team that much like us had a brutal non-conference schedule that beat them up early you know they were predicted to finish high in the conference they've had good success under under rick and 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 that and that schedule kind of beat them up but they really haven't been that injured. They just haven't had the kind of success, but we know what kind of talent they have. And so uh, obviously it's going to be a tough test for us. Coach, thank you so much for joining us once again. We wish you the best of well against Middle Tennessee and for the rest of the season ahead. Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate it.